Hi everyone, I'm Kemal Walcott. Welcome to another CSEC required chemistry experiment. This experiment is a redox reaction. So in this experiment, we're given three substances, A, B, and C. And we're going to be determining if they are either an oxidizing agent or a reducing agent. Let's see what's in store. So each of them, they're colorless liquids. So we're going to be testing them with known oxidizing and reducing agents. So the oxidizing agents are acidified potassium manganate. 7 and acidified potassium dichromate. We have as the reducing agent acidified potassium iodide. So we're going to go with substance A first. We're going to be adding a small amount of A to each of these three substances and we're going to just record our observation. Now before we add them, it's very important to note the appearance of our reagents before we begin because our substance that we're going to be adding a b and c they are going to be causing a change in these known oxidizing and reducing agents so these oxidizing and reducing agents they are known to give a characteristic color change which tells us that reduction is taking place or oxidation is taking place or just redox is taking place full stop so these, these characteristic color changes are what we look for to know that we have a redox reaction taking place. So we'll start by adding a small amount of A. This is, this is the A tray, so we'll add a small amount of A to acidified potassium manganate 7. And we'll come back to look at our observation or to note our observation we'll add a small amount to potassium acidified potassium dichromate and we'll add a small amount to acidified potassium iodide and we just want to zoom in so we can see what's happening so let's make this a little swirl. So we're supposed to note any, any, any form of color change, anything that we see, right? So we're going to just let that, let that sit for a little. agitating them a bit so the reagents can mix Thank you. 
this time around, we're going to be adding a small amount of substance B to, again, acidify potassium manganate 7, acidify potassium dichromate, and acidified potassium iodide. So we we'll agitate so we get good mixing. And so it's very important to, to state if there is any change within our testing reagent. Our testing reagents are, again, acidified potassium manganate 7, which initially was purple, acidified potassium dichromate, which initially was orange, and acidified potassium iodide, which, as we saw, was a colorless liquid. So this is what we've observed so far. We're down to the third and final substance, substance C. Again, a colorless liquid. We're going to be adding a small amount to acidified potassium manganate 7, small amount to acidified potassium dichromate, and a small amount to acidified potassium iodide. Then, of course, uh, close up, look closely, there's a phenomenon occurring. Some will say bubbling, however, the correct term is effervescence. Just agitate it a little bit. There we go. So we'll um, let it sit so the reaction can complete. We'll observe this one closely. Agitate it a little and we're seeing some effervescence as well. So we'll just let it sit. And this that was colorless. Just want to make a note of any color change, any effervescence, anything that is that is happening.
if you find the content shared here helpful, then be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and also turn on post notifications so you'll be notified the moment a new video is added. Couple later.